There are powers in the world that would like to say no to everything you want to do in life. And that's why we pray. That's why we fast. That's why we try. That's why we push. Everything we do is against no. Is against no. Because you may not hear it, but there are powers that are resisting. There are powers that do not want you to do it. They don't want you to make progress. They don't want you to live long. They don't want you to have happiness. They are saying no to every yes that God is saying. The Bible says in him it is yes and amen. But there are powers in the world, outside of him, that is saying no and never. And so everything we do is against that language. No. And so your winning faith is the faith that says no. My faith rejects no. That's how I want to title this message. And I hope somebody's faith will begin to say no to everything that the enemies want to bring into your life. The powers that want to force you down, beat you down, disgrace you, humiliate you, make you the last among your father's children. You have to say no to them. Your faith says no. There are, sad, there are some people they have concluded knowingly or unknowingly in their heart that is how it is for me, Jerry. It is my life. They have resort to faith. F-A-T-E. They say, well, this is my life. I thank God for Jabez. He was born differently. Given a different name. The Bible says, very short verses, about three or four verses in the Bible about this man called Jabez. He said, I don't like this life. And he went to God, the creator, the manufacturer of his life. The director of his being. And he said, you can do something about this. I don't like the way I'm living. And the Bible says, God heard his prayer. His story changed. The man who said no to what the devil was bringing into his life. Many of us, we feel we are stuck where we are. You think you are stuck here in America. I can't go back home. My mates have left me. And living in America is so tough. What do I do now? Some people are angry. They are bitter. Some people even abandon prayer, abandon God. Some people have uh, absconded. You, can't, you don't know where they are anymore. Because they are frustrated. Because they are deceived to accept the message of the enemy. But your faith this month and going forward must be the faith that says no to whatever the enemies are bringing your way. Help me tell somebody, by the grace of God, you will make it. Say very loud, you will make it in the name of Jesus. And help me tell somebody that your faith must reject no. Because there are languages in this world. No can come in different ways. David heard from Saul. David was going to solve a problem for the nation of Israel. Nobody, none of the army of Israel could confront the problem called Goliath. And somebody called David stepped out and said, I can help. You will expect that the first thing the king should say was to encourage the little boy and say, Oh, really? You can help? Uh, maybe not now. Uh, or maybe he will say to him and say, You can help, really? I love your faith and help him to stand strong. But he said to him instantly, You can't. You are too young. And if David had listened to Saul, he would never have risen to prominence. Because it was when Goliath fell that David rose. Because after he conquered Goliath, the women began to sing. David has conquered. David has conquered. He rose into prominence instantly. He became famous. Because he rejected the language, the voice, and the mouth that said, no, you can't do it. Paul amplified this many years in the future. He said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I want to talk to somebody in this message as I feel so heavy in my heart. Where you are is not where you should be. And you are where you are because you agreed to what the enemies have been suggesting to you. You don't have education. They have been painting and telling you all kinds of things. You'll be hearing the, the voice in your mind that you don't have education you can't speak english you are not from a, this family that family they have said all kinds of things you are not connected you are this you are that the devil is just bringing everything that can bring that that can magnify that no your kind is not supposed to be in this place and so the devil is bringing everything and everything every day you eat it you digest it and you come to a place where you are now settling for what the devil is saying May God bring you out today. May God bring you out today. Because greater is the one who is in you. 
David said, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Oh, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. I have said in this church many times, there is no error of creation. Nobody is an accidental creation. You are intentionally created by God. Everything about you is ordained by God. You are not a failure. And don't ever let any, don't let anybody ever make you feel like a failure. If God is with you, who can be against you? In Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 19, the Bible says, They will fight against you. But they will not win. Because God is with you. Many times we are against the fighting. The fighting is allowed by God. God said they will fight. I won't stop the fighting. Because if they don't fight, they won't appreciate victory. If there's no fight, how can, we, how can you appreciate victory? If there's no darkness, you can't enjoy light. You can't see the glory of light. Amen. Your faith rejects no this month. The power that says you can't make it. You can't live long. You can't survive. You can't have your paper. You cannot be married. You cannot have children. Every power that is saying you pray for, for baby, the power said no, you can't have it. You have to reject that no. Is somebody listening to me this morning? Nothing is wrong with heaven. Heaven is perfect. This earth is upside down. The problem is here, not there. And if you are here, while you are living, you have to connect with there. So that here can be better for you. As long as you are alive, you, you run the economy of heaven. You are a citizen of heaven. You have to wake up in the spirit. And say, so if the devil comes my way this month, you will hear when no more resistance you move in the power of the Holy Ghost I know there are times where your faith will be challenged when movement will be difficult I understand that but where the winning faith comes from is you not giving up to the resistance there are powers that resist your movement but you can't allow them to win in Ephesians chapter 6, Paul says something that really touched me. Because every time I look at that scripture, I, I meditate on it. Verse 12. He said, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. And I underline, I look at the word wrestle there. Then I understand many years ago, I love wrestling. WrestleMania. My, my favorite uh, uh, wrestler many years ago when I was a little boy was Mighty Eagle. He will always win every wrestling. And so they can be beating him, beating him one time, he will just begin to beat them and they will win. And we'll say, mighty ego. So I understand wrestling. That when you are wrestling with somebody, the person is trying to put your back on the ground. When he pins you down and the referee slams the ground three times and you don't move, then he wins. Do you know the devil is wrestling with many of us? And he wants to put our ground, our back on the ground. And many people are not fighting back. I remember one day I was a little boy. Somebody was just messing up with me in primary school those days. And he pinned me down. I said, leave me, leave me alone. He pinned me down there. I was, leave me, leave me. I knew that this girl would not leave me and I was going to die because I was choking. All I did was to use the remaining strength from where I didn't even know where the strength came from. To push that man away from me. You know, there comes a time in life, you are weakened spiritually. You don't feel like praying. You are tired of praying. You are tired of being tired. You have cried to God. You have prayed to God. You have fasted. You've done everything you can do. Expecting miracles. A miracle seems to have flew away. And you are tired and discouraged. This is natural to man. This is real to life. But again, the winning faith is the faith that despite all I'm talking about, the circumstances surrounding you, you can still stand up and say, no, I won't give up. I won't give up. Those who win in life are those who don't give up. The story of this woman in Matthew chapter 15 really touched me. I want to show you three things quickly. Take it from verse 22. And behold, a woman of Canaan came from that region and cried out, to him saying have mercy on me O Lord son of David my daughter is severely demon possessed verse 23 says but he answered her not a word and his disciples came and urged him saying send her away for she cries out after us he answered her not a word 
I wrote in my note that Jesus ignored her. Many times we don't want to say these, these things about Jesus. We think, oh, I love Jesus so much. Let me not say, say it like that because that may make Jesus look bad. But the truth is Jesus ignored her. She was ignored. She cried and Jesus did not say anything. There was silence. Don't we have situations like that when you pray to God and you don't hear anything from him? There was silence from heaven. Nothing. Lord, what are you saying? And you can't hear anything. Oh Lord, are you ignoring me? I can't hear anything. I've been praying. 40 days fasting and prayer. I went on 80. I'm on 120 now. And tomorrow the 120 will end. Are you going to, don't, going to kill me? I've, been, I've not eaten now the whole year. I've been praying. Talk now. And there's silence. It happens. When heaven will be quiet. This man cried to Jesus. He said, have mercy. I taught you in this church that heaven does not reject the cry of mercy. It's a personal revelation. It's a personal revelation. When I get to heaven, it will be confirmed even more to me. I know, I have read the Bible, every time you cry to God for mercy, heaven listens. It doesn't matter what you have done. Because his mercy endures forever. And the Bible says mercy triumphs over judgment. When you cry to God for mercy, what you are saying is, I know I'm guilty, but don't judge me according to my errors. And he's a forgiving God. So when this woman cried for mercy, Jesus was restrained because he had an assignment at the initial point of his ministry. He was not sent to everybody. He said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That was the initial assignment. Go after them. But we thank God after he resurrected, he said, go into the world. He died for everybody. But at the inception of his assignment, he was looking for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So this woman, a Gentile, was asking for something, asking him to do something. And he was like, I, 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 I uh, no, uh, what she's saying, I can't do it because in my, God gave him an itinerary, what he should do. And he was looking at the list and said, no, not you yet. I'm still going to the house of Israel. You're asking me to do what I don't want to do now. But he couldn't talk. My interpretation is he could not talk to this woman because he heard the word mercy. He couldn't say no. So he kept quiet. How do I reject no? How do I reject mercy? And I have not sent to people like this yet. I have an assignment to the house of Israel. And so Jesus kept quiet. And many times when, they, when heaven is quiet, it is not no. When you have not heard anything, if God wants to say no, he will say no. No, his no will come very fast. But when God is quiet, it is either he's telling you, hold on, not now, wait a little bit. And many people, when they, when they don't understand the meaning of his silence, they think the silence is no. And so they seek a second option. And they lose everything. But this woman was ignored. To make the matter worse, the disciples that should appear to Jesus and say, Sir, it is her daughter that they seek. Your God, please help now. Help. They say, Let's send her away. Look at them. They say, Let's, 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 let's. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away. For she cries out after us. You know, sometimes when you are walking with the big boss, you think you, are, you want to bamba, as this is one song is say, You want to bamba. Maybe they want to, they were like, you two woman, you want to bamba? Eh? You want to chill with the big boy, Jesus? I don't think pastor does not watch. I listen to all of that. I'm real. I will not tell you what is not. I'm real. This, this, what you get is, I listen to it. Don't think that I will come here and play holy, holy, and... Uh, uh, like uh, I don't even eat or I don't drink <laughs> holy roller coaster and the Lord will say you are fake I'm real if what I'm doing is wrong I will admit it's wrong so what you get from Pastor Lai whatever you see is what you get of. and because all of you laugh that means you are bamba too <laughs> you know it too <laughs> hallelujah so many times, the people that should advocate for you, they may be the people that will be against you. The disciples were there to appeal and say, Sir, 
She's crying. She needs help. He said, send her away. And they wanted to feel cool. Look at She's crying after us. Who are they? She was not crying after them. She was crying after Jesus. They said she was crying after us. And they were feeling cool. And some people, when they have access, they don't want anybody to have access. They know they, know they are close to Jesus. They don't want anybody. Do you know something is bad in many societies? Let me now picture, point on a particular one. When people have information that can bless others, because they are getting blessed, they will close it. They don't want anybody to know. They don't want anybody to know. They are rising and they don't want anybody to rise. May God deliver you from such people. Amen. May the Lord put them to shame. Amen. Because what they think you won't know, God in his infinite wisdom will make you know it Amen. through another source and shame on them. Amen. It will be, ooh, obi. You think I won't know? Now I know. You know, some people are at a level and you are here. They don't want you to rise. And every information they should give you to rise and be at the level where they are, or even close, they will deny you. Now, God in his wisdom can create another way for you. They don't want you to go up this way, you will go up this way. From this balcony, you will be talking to them. So, and they say, how did you get there? It is God. May God lift you up in Jesus' name.